Tonight, hopes the tram network will be a boon for businesses who struggled through its construction. Businesses along the ACT's light rail route hope the beginning of services will spell a resurgence in trade to offset several years of construction turmoil. The Easter weekend launch has seen tens of thousands of people jump aboard the trams, but it's longer term passenger figures which they say will make or break them. 28,000 people rode the Gungarland to Civic Line on the first day. Ten trams were rostered on, but another three had to be added to the network due to the high level of demand. Tremendous amount of people, a lot of excitement um, and a really positive engagement with people as they understand what light rail means for them. The early impressions were mostly positive. It's always pretty cool to have a um, big new sort of uh, thing in Canberra. Gets me to where I want to be for pretty reasonable price and time. It's not going to get, make its way out to where we live for a while, but I think people who live here should be, um, should be quite keen to use it. The Chief Minister describes launch day as the day that Canberra grew up and got a transport system befitting of a thriving metropolis. Canberra is the world's most livable city, and it is so because of investment in transport infrastructure. It wasn't only commuters in the mood for celebration, but also the many businesses who had struggled through the drawn-out build. Osman Boubakari owns and runs a Turkish restaurant on Hibberson Street and says he nearly went bust. We were able to find other ways to survive by reducing the staff, by cutting down in what we're offering. We would have rather closed the shops altogether. Some businesses along the route did shut down, citing construction hassles and significant losses of income. The government admits that the project had its challenges, but reckons the impacts were well managed. It's very difficult to build an infrastructure project of this scale without some disruption. Uh, and the team has worked incredibly hard to minimise that. That support fell short of any compensation, which some have repeatedly called for. There's ups and downs, a bit of rework as well. Uh, as a business, it did affect us uh, with walk-ins and stuff like that. It was a lean patch, but I think now you can see the end result is very, very good. It's the palpable prospect of a much brighter future now that the trams are fully operational that's keeping local retailers, eateries and service providers hanging in there. Now with the starting of the ride, hopefully, really hopefully, we could get back to what the business should be. And I contrast our experience uh, with that that's uh, going on just a few hundred kilometres up the road where projects are running late, uh, very late, over budget uh, without any clear sign uh, of a resolution. This was also a red letter day for the many politicians, town planners and lobbyists who campaigned over decades to bring light rail to the ACT. Community groups fought long and hard to make light rail a reality and I'm so glad to see that those people's efforts have been rewarded. Weekend commuters got to try out the service at no cost to them and there's another round of free travel when an overhaul of the bus network starts next week. To give as many people an opportunity not just to catch light rail for free but also to catch our new uh, significantly expanded bus network. And like a growing legion of Win News viewers, perhaps even snap the perfect light rail selfie to let everyone know that you're on board with this transport revolution. Michael Hammond, Win News.